Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Wednesday, March the 16th. Another consolidation day, markets open lower, closed near their highs on this session. e and S&P down three points at 2007. The high there was 2010, the low was 1995. The Dow futures up 20, 17,148 quiet day as well. And the NASDAQ had a 35 point range at 43.56 with a close that was down two points. Currencies were going nowhere fast, unchanged in the dollar index, 96.67. That was a 40 point range between the high and the low. And that Euro currency was up 15 points at 111.39, holding above 111. Treasuries bounced seven ticks at 161.22, ahead of Fed day today, where the markets were just trading sideways Monday and Tuesday. Crude oil down 85 cents at 36.35 as the dollar index has firmed up. We're trading the April contract here until the end of the week. And lastly, gold slid $14 at 12.31. The low of the session was 12.26. So again, after sideways action on Monday and Tuesday, the markets this morning are steady. We're at 2007 in the E-mini S&P. Dow futures are up two at 17,150. And the Nasdaq's up three ticks right now at 43.59. The dollar's at 96.88, pressing on 97 once again, up 21 ticks. The euro currency, 111.16, minus 23. Bonds right now are 161.28, up 7. We've seen the yields um, pull off of the highs that we've seen here recently. We're at 271 in the uh, 30 year in 1.96, and we had pressed on 2% in that 10 year note. April crude right now, $37, up 70 cents, and gold up $2 at 1233. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, steady ahead of the Fed announcement this afternoon. Right now we're unchanged in the S&P, up two in the Dow, and up three in the NASDAQ 100. I will see you early Thursday morning for your morning market start to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.